Wonder Woman 3 was confirmed back in December 2020, but a lot has changed at DC since then. James Gunn and Peter Safran are now in charge of DC Studios, and they're introducing a new DC Universe with projects like Creature Commandos in 2024 and Superman Legacy in 2025. So what about Wonder Woman 3 and Gal Gadot's return as Diana Prince? Well, it's complicated. In Wonder Woman 1984, Patty Jenkins brought the characters closer to modern times. However, it's uncertain when the next movie will be set, especially if the DC Universe undergoes a soft reboot. Patty Jenkins, who may not return to direct the third movie if it happens, had a story idea in mind before Wonder Woman 1984's release about where the series could go. In an interview with Cinema Blend, Patty Jenkins discussed her ideas for Wonder Woman 3. She mentioned that she and Jeff Johns, the screenwriter for Wonder Woman 1984, had developed a story that they were excited about for the third movie. However, Jenkins also expressed uncertainty about directing Wonder Woman 3 and mentioned the importance of considering the world situation before proceeding with the film. She emphasized that she still loves the story they came up with and suggested that some elements from it might carry over to the eventual movie. She advised against becoming too attached to any specific ideas and encouraged fans to think about what they would like to see Wonder Woman do in the current world. The post credit scene in Wonder Woman 1984 featured Linda Carter, who played the original Wonder Woman in the 1970s TV series as Asteria. This scene didn't reveal much about the third Wonder Woman movie storyline, but it hinted that Asteria could potentially have a role in the upcoming film. Talk about the cast, Gal Gadot is likely to return as Wonder Woman for Wonder Woman 3, although the cast has not been officially confirmed yet. This year, she made cameo appearances as Diana Prince in Shazam! Fury of the Gods and The Flash, but did not appear in Blue Beetle. On the other hand, Chris Pine, who played Steve Trevor in Wonder Woman 1984, has indicated that he believes Steve's storyline is complete and that he's unlikely to return for a third film. While it's possible for characters like Pedro Pascal or Kristen Wiig from Wonder Woman 1984 to make a flashback or memory appearance in Wonder Woman 3, it seems unlikely. However, there's a chance we might see familiar faces like Robin Wright as Antiope, Connie Nielsen as Hippolyta, and Lily Aspel as young Diana if the story revisits Themyscira. Overall, details about the cast beyond Gal Gadot are uncertain at this time. Fans who were eagerly anticipating Wonder Woman 3 were disappointed to learn that the sequel would not be moving forward. Despite expectations for director Jenkins and star Gal Gadot to return, the project was cancelled due to restructuring in the DC Universe led by new co-CEOs James Gunn and Peter Safran. This means that there won't be any updates, trailers, or release dates for Wonder Woman 3, leaving fans without any new developments for this particular movie. The cancellation of Wonder Woman 3 comes as a surprise, especially considering the significant impact that the first Wonder Woman movie had on the struggling DC Universe. Released in 2017, Wonder Woman was a critical and commercial success, offering hope for the DCU after mixed reactions to previous films like Batman vs Superman and Suicide Squad. Fans were anticipating Wonder Woman 3 to complete the trilogy, but now they are left wondering about Wonder Woman's future in the DCU. This includes speculation about a possible reboot as well as interest in an HBO Max series focused on the Amazons. In December 2022, reports circulated that Wonder Woman 3 was cancelled at Warner Brothers after director Patty Jenkins departed from the project due to creative differences. Jenkins later clarified that while she did leave, it was because the DCU was headed in a new direction, leading to the cancellation of Wonder Woman 3. She indicated that she believed there was nothing she could do to revive the project. Additionally, it seems that Gal Gadot will not be returning to reprise her role as Wonder Woman in the DCU's new era, despite previous suggestions that she might. However, there is still an Amazonian-focused project in the works with the upcoming HBO Max series Paradise Lost. This series will delve into the origins of Paradise Island and the formation of the Society of Female Warriors long before Princess Diana's time, potentially setting the stage for a new actor to take on the role of Wonder Woman in the future. A previously announced Wonder Woman spin-off movie focusing on the Amazonians has seemingly been put on hold or cancelled, given the recent cancellation of Wonder Woman 3. 
However, as part of the DC Universe's Gods and Monsters slate, it was revealed that there will be an HBO Max series set in Themyscira called Paradise Lost. This series, described by James Gunn as a Game of Thrones-style show, will explore the all-female warrior society long before Princess Diana's time. It's not entirely clear whether Paradise Lost is a repurposing of the original Wonder Woman spin-off project or if it's an entirely new project altogether. Despite the cancellation of Wonder Woman 3, fans can still anticipate the character's presence in the new DC Universe in the near future. The uncertainty lies in whether this will entail a complete reboot for the character or if Gal Gadot will return to portray Wonder Woman once again. The ambiguity stems from the fact that some actors, like Henry Cavill, will not be reprising their roles in the new DCU, while others have been confirmed to return with certain modifications. According to the recent DCU report, none of the original Justice League members will be returning to their roles in the new iteration of the team. This suggests that Wonder Woman may be portrayed by a different actor in future DCU projects. The HBO Max series Paradise Lost is expected to lay the groundwork for the DC Universe's version of Wonder Woman, potentially paving the way for the introduction of a new actress in the role. Given the recasting of Batman and Superman in other DCU projects, like The Brave and the Bold and Superman Legacy, it would have added complexity to the cinematic universe if Wonder Woman wasn't recast as well. This reasoning likely influenced the decision to recast both Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman and Jason Momoa's Aquaman, effectively making Wonder Woman 3 unfeasible. Look at this, the fan casting of Alexandra Daddario as Wonder Woman has gained traction among DC Universe fans, especially as official castings like David Korenswit as Superman and Nathan Fillion as Guy Gardner are announced. The transition from the DC Extended Universe to the DCU has sparked increased anticipation and speculation around new actors taking on iconic roles, leading to bold fan castings like Daddario as Wonder Woman. Digital artist Jackson Durr has created a fan art imagining Alexandra Daddario as Wonder Woman in the DCU. The artwork takes inspiration from Wonder Woman's comic book appearance, specifically referencing the suit she wore between the end of the New 52 era and the beginning of DC's Rebirth relaunch. Daddario's proposed casting as Wonder Woman has been popular among fans, generating excitement and discussions about potential actors for iconic roles in the DCU. And that's it for today. As we navigate the evolving landscape of the DC Universe, the fate of Wonder Woman 3 remains uncertain, leaving fans with questions about the future of this iconic character. Will we see a new actor don the mantle of Wonder Woman in upcoming DCU projects? Who would be your ideal choice to play Wonder Woman in this new era? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest developments in the DC Universe and join the conversation about fan casting and exciting possibilities for Wonder Woman and other beloved characters.